Hey everyone, this is Matthew from Beekeeper Studio. This is release 4.1. I figured I'd pop in here and show you some of the uh, the headline features. All right, so, oh, by the way, do you, do you guys know you can do this? If you click this icon, it will collapse the sidebar. Just a little tip. Anyway, so headline feature of Beekeeper Studio 4.1 is tables have been massively improved uh, to be more like a spreadsheet. So you can see here, I'm like selecting a whole bunch of cells. I can copy this cell and I have a, um, a Google sheet here. If I paste, it just pastes like you would expect. Um, I can also copy this and go back to Beekeeper Studio and let's paste it here. I can paste it in. <laughs> Look at that. So this is so much better. A uh, really big, huge improvement to copying and modifying data. It also has a few other niceties from spreadsheets like resizing. You can resize all columns at once, like in a Google spreadsheet, or just a few columns if you want, right? You can do that and it'll just resize those columns. Um, you can select like arbitrary ranges of data to copy. You can select arbitrary amounts of columns to copy using control or shift click. Um, sorry, that was rows. And the same thing with columns too. So much better interactivity on the tables. And this is true also for um, query results. So here's a good example. Query results down here, I can select ranges. I, I can copy, I can't paste into this table because this is a read-only table. But other than that, I can kind of do everything that I want. Um, that's one big improvement. I hope you like that. That's from Asmi. Asmi60, you'll see him on the repo. Fantastic uh, uh, contractor who's helping me to build Beekeeper Studio. He's done a great job with this. Another big uh, feature is like editing, like this is a text column. Like, look at this scroll bar. How am I supposed to edit this? It's crazy, right? So we've got this little modal editor. So click edit in modal. It will pop open a modal and you can edit the text in a nice big modal. You can make it a little bit bigger too. Um, this also works for JSON and more complex data. So I have a nice JSON, I have a nice array here. So if I click edit in modal, it'll open this as a, a JSON array and I can edit this just as I, I would any JSON object. Um, we have a bit of code here to tell you if you've got invalid JSON content, which is pretty helpful. Right now it's just JSON, HTML and text, but there'll be more languages coming here soon. This is kind of the first preview. Um, by default, this will minify the JSON, but you can you can uh, save it without minifying if you like. So those are the big features. Um, another big feature, hello fellow Linux users. I know some of you uh, who use Beekeeper Studio are on Linux as well. Uh, we now have full Wayland support for Beekeeper Studio, including fractional scaling. So you can see everything looks nice and crisp on my screen. That's because we've enabled fractional scaling support in Wayland. Uh, check the Beekeeper Studio docs to see that in action. A um, couple of other minor things I'll mention here. Those of you with lots and lots and lots of tables, like tens of thousands of tables, found this to be very slow to load. Well, this has been virtualized now, so this will be a lot faster. It shouldn't really matter how many tables you have. This table list should be faster. Um, there's been a whole other bunch of uh, improvements and tweaks, like showing co comments here and there, fixing some error messages, improving SQLite support, as well as some things behind the scenes. But I just wanted to give you this quick preview. I hope, I hope you all have a great January. Um, I hope to see you filing issues, bugs, feature requests on the repo, or maybe even contributing some code. And uh, stay safe and warm, everybody.